Are we ready? We are ready. Okay, today we are going to make Ruth's relaxing, refreshing summer salad. There you go. Okay, um, while I start on the strawberries, Gary is going to start cutting up the apple. Um, it's, it's a nice salad. We are going to be using some mixed greens. Uh, Gary has his garden uh, planted, so when the lettuce starts coming up, then you'll be using some of those fresh vegetables. Mm -hmm. We have so, kale and lettuce and spinach. So we'll be using radishes. that in our, in our fresh salad. So what we're going to do with this salad, I found the recipe, I thought it sounded really good, and we were hosting Father Burish's um, young people's group, young adult group last week, and we're going to make this for two people. So we're going to cut everything, all the ingredients down, mm -hmm. and um, so it'll be a little bit easier when only, you know, two people, all the kids are away from, from the house and you can, you know, just serve for the two of you. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do one quarter of a, a Granny Smith apple. Right. So Gary's going to cut that into, you know, small pieces like you would, would typically, you know, want to eat. And then he's going to just put a little bit of lemon juice in the bowl, the, uh, a bowl while we're getting ready with some of the other ingredients. I'm going to trim a few of our already washed strawberries. And again, everything is just kind of a chunk portions that you would, would eat. The, the recipe calls for about two tablespoons of lemon juice, so just sprinkling the, the apples would be good. When I made this last Saturday, I had Gary help me, and we had them all made ahead about an hour maybe ahead before mm -hmm. the our company came so I put in the lemon juice on the apples and that helps it from from not turning brown right. so for the two of us I'm going to take maybe three strawberries and again just put those slice in half and then quarter them and now Gary is going to cut the avocado I'm typically not a big apple avocado fan except if it's, if it's in guacamole and and uh, tostitos or, or some kind of you know chips but it actually gives it some nice flavor in this summer salad and you don't have to have a lot of it so for the two of us Gary will do about a quarter of the avocado or a half because I like avocado okay so we'll do half and one thing you can do with an avocado, knowing that we're only going to use half today, I'm going to take the other half, I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag and sprinkle a little lime juice in there and just shake it up and that keeps the avocado from turning brown on you overnight. So and you can use it on your salad the next day. And you often eat avocado even for breakfast, don't you? I do. Sometimes for Sometimes breakfast? Sometimes I do. Okay. They're very high in fat and very good for you. It's okay. a good fat. I'm going to do one, one more little strawberry. And depending on how large your strawberries are, obviously, will depend on how many strawberries you want for your salad. Okay, so the strawberries are done, the lemon is done, the avocado is ready. So we are, I think, ready to put our salad together. Mm -hmm. um, because we are just going to do some pulled pork tonight, we are mm -hmm. not going to do the chicken, but you could do your salad, and then, and then after you put it all together, then you can add chicken breast onto it. So with the bag lettuce, or it's uh, a mixture of greens, we're gonna do about two handfuls like that. Or if you get the box greens, which are also very nice, you can you know use maybe a quarter of, mm -hmm. of the box, which we also like. So we, we're gonna take, as Gary said, one part oil one part oil to, to two, two parts, parts vinegar, vinegar um, balsamic vinegar so that's going to be about what a teaspoon or two teaspoons of the the olive oil and then about a tablespoon or so of the the yeah. balsamic vinaigrette or it's just like i said it's it's two to one so if you have a tablespoon okay of it's oil, a little bit too much or two okay. tablespoons of Okay, and then I'm going to put it in here, and what so what works mix it up. Well, is if you put it in a container with a, a cover that you're not going to be able to spill, just shake it so you can actually have it made ahead of time, 
and then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of this on. Let me grab our fork and spoon, okay? There you go. So we're going to just pour a little bit on, and it's really just to taste. So if you like a little bit more balsamic dressing, and if you don't want to make your own, um, you can also buy balsamic mm -hmm. vinaigrette. But we found in some of our, our different catering events, we've been using a lot of balsamic vinaigrette that we make. So we are just going to put our tomatoes on top. The avocado. And then the avocados. And then we're going to put on the apples. And then we're also going to add a quarter of a cup of cranberries, dried cranberries. And if you don't want quite that many, that's okay. So we'll just do a, a few cranberries. Get this out of the way. And then we're just going to gently toss. Toss that, and then we'll put the cheese on top. So if we were going to have the, the chicken breast, um, then we would, would plate it and then put sliced chicken breast on it and that would <clears throat> you know, com complete your your salad with the chicken breast and then we would <clears throat> excuse me probably have some kind of a, a roll an artisan roll or or something if we were going to serve this for our a meal that we're especially that we're catering if you use salad tongs you I have, have a couple different kinds and um, that they're actually attached and those are a little bit more difficult to manipulate sometimes if you want to get all of these different pieces in here. Okay, so Gary is just going to top that with some feta. This recipe calls for feta, but if you're partial to another cheese, like a Parmesan, it's just fine as well. You could sprinkle a little grated Parmesan, would work. And then as I said, if we were gonna have chicken breast, then we would just slice the chicken breast lay and lay on that top. on, mm -hmm. and we're all set to go. Absolutely. So this is a nice summer salad. So from A Slice of Heaven, I hope you enjoyed today's show, and my guest, Gary, is, is here with me today because we're home enjoying the nice summer weather and we're ready to sit down and have our salad. And I want to eat some salad tonight, so here we go. <laughs> so happy cooking. Okay. It's so much more difficult when I've got extra people sometimes. Are we recording now? I yeah. hope so. <laughs> okay. I am not difficult. Are we ready? Only when, I, only when I'm up and around in the kitchen. Are we ready? We are ready. Is this in your way? Yes. So is this. You don't have to, okay, you don't have to move everything though, okay? Okay. Okay, good. <laughs>